Should be good. So this is an Excel um, ventless water heater that we're gonna be installing in the trailer. Uh, it doesn't require an exterior vent. Um, you just gotta have adequate space around uh, the unit for safety. So um, this is what I'm gonna be installing in my trailer. And uh, what I did here was get a uh, 12 inch um, black pipe, which is a gas pipe. Um, and I've got an on off valve. Uh, these are half inch connections on the heater. So I've got a half inch um, shut off valve here so I can shut the gas off inside the trailer um, as well as obviously on the tank on the outside. So um, I've got this hooked up. I still need to tape it so I've just got everything uh, loosely fitted for now until I get it installed here. Um, my plan is to drill um, set that down. So my plan is to drill through the trailer here. I've actually um, already drilled a pilot hole to make sure I'm not gonna be uh, hitting a trailer frame or a brace, a floor brace or anything like that. So uh, I'm all good there. So I'm gonna drill that out and then um, put in one of these uniseals. So this uniseal is for a half inch pipe and our black pipe fits in here uh, nice and tight. So it's gonna uh, make a watertight seal uh, in the bottom of our trailer. So I'm gonna drill this out and put this uniseal in here and then drop the black pipe in there. And then I've got a 90 degree elbow that I'm gonna connect um, to, the, to the pipe. And then I've got a flexible propane hose that's gonna connect to that. So I'll show you the whole process here. Um, this should be pretty simple though with this setup. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect our pipe while I've got this uh, off, make it a little easier. Snug it up there. Okay, so we got the gas pipe connected. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, screw on our connections for I'm also gonna go ahead and screw on our connections for our uh, water lines. So this is the water outlet, this is the water input. We're gonna use a PEX pipe, so this is a PEX connector. Sprayed a little bit of lube on our hole. Make this slip in a little easier. There we go. Okay, and there's two more screw mounts on the bottom. That's where our gas pipe is coming out. Put some silicone around the hole there just to uh, protect the wood. So it's mounted right under there. And then we're gonna put our propane tank right here uh, in between the tongue. So I'm gonna weld a uh, cross brace in the tongue here. And then um, I've got a mounting bracket that's actually gonna go on the front of the V with some straps to strap our propane tank. And then we're gonna run the propane line down uh, and I'm gonna strap it to the frame and I'll go down 
and under and hook up right there to the pipe. So the last part, uh, we got to install a couple um, D batteries here. That's what those are. Yeah, D batteries. And I'm pretty sure that's to control the uh, igniter in this unit. So let's put it in here. Okay, so we're ready to hook up uh, our water lines to the water heater that we installed. And then uh, gonna be connecting it and installing our uh, water pump here. This is a C-Flow 30, 30, uh, 33 series, and it's a uh, 120 volt, so they do make 12 volt systems uh, if you have 12 volt uh, power in your trailer. But in this trailer, we're setting it up for 120 volt power, so that's what we got here. This one push, uh, pushes 3.3 gallons per minute. Um, it's a pretty good pump. I've got the 12 volt one in my camper, and I really like it, so I went with it here. Um, they're, they're well made, and they come with a filter, before the pump to keep your pump clean. So we're gonna be installing that and uh, connecting our uh, cold water inlet to the hot water heater and our hot water outlet. Um, so I'm just gonna get those uh, kind of installed to the water pump, our fresh water tank and the water heater for now. And then uh, when we come back with our sinks, I'll finish connecting um, our water lines to our faucets on all of the sinks. So I'll show you that. But for now, we're gonna install the water pump, our lines, and finish up the water heater. Well, that's a wrap on the installation of our water heater and the water pump. Next, I'll be finishing up the installation of the fresh water tank and then coming back in with the sinks and drains and finishing uh, connecting these water lines to the sinks. So stay tuned for the next one. Should be good.